Hello, welcome. This is Blockchain Bloom, the Blockchain Educator. I'm Matilda Pinky, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about that Apple's CEO, Tim Cook, reveals that he owns crypto, but what about Apple? The second thing I would like to talk about is uh, that uh, next week, uh, Bitcoin ETF can be approved, but this time, it's not about the future ETF, it's a spot ETF. So let's talk about it. And uh, the third thing is that uh, Beeple, you know, who holds the record for the most expensive NFT, uh, what he sold for $69 million, now he sold a $29 million uh, NFT. So guys, all of uh, this in today's video. Let's do it. And if you would like to get the daily fresh cryptocurrency and blockchain news, then simply subscribe to this YouTube channel, Blockchain Bloom. Subscribe the button. Oh, that's the only thing you have to do. And then you're getting these videos on daily basis. Also, check out the links under this video because there are very uh, useful links there. For instance, the free course, how to start investing in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. And, you know, links you can register to different kind of, um, you know, exchanges and get a discount on transaction fees. And uh, now let's move on to the market. And uh, we can see that Bitcoin is at the moment 67,016 US dollar, which is a 1.8% decrease in the last 24 hours. When we're looking at Ethereum, 4,731 US dollar, also pretty much the same like Bitcoin, slightly going down. And uh, when we're looking at the top gainers, Loopring is still up 50%. IOTEX also up uh, almost 50% and Cadena keep going up 23% up. So things looking, by the way, good. When we're looking at the losers, we see Helium going down about 8%, Data Fuel 7% and WeChain this time about 7% down. So basically not major drops, some of them going up very nicely. Ethereum, Bitcoin kind of sideways at the moment. And uh, when we're looking at uh, the Bitcoin uh, chart, then we can see that, well, yes, we have reached this new all-time high. Now here we have a correction, but this correction even can come longer down and it will be still fine. Because look, uh, when we're looking at uh, the next uh, higher low, it's here uh, around 60,000. So even if it comes down to, for instance, to these levels, to, to about uh, 63, 64,000, <coughs> it still could be uh, great and then, you know, uh, just go back. So, so far, so good, to be honest with you right now. And, uh, well, this is an interesting one I wanted to show you when we compare Bitcoin investment to gold investment in the last uh, kind of 12 years, put it this way. So basically starts when Bitcoin has started. So if you put in 2009 one US dollar in uh, Bitcoin, then, uh, yes, can you see it? Like the whole thing? Yes, it's, it's, it's down here, right? So one dollar in Bitcoin, one dollar in gold back in 2009, then you can see that right now your gold would, would be worth $1.67. So not even double. On the other hand, if you would do this for Bitcoin, you would have 87 million dollar. So Bitcoin has truly outperformed gold. And to be honest with you, if you invest something uh, and, uh, you know, you hold it for 12 years, uh, less than a double, it's it's not a great uh, return. If you're looking at, you bought the property, uh, it brought you much more than gold. So this is one of the reasons why you can see now that many people shift from gold to digital gold, which is uh, Bitcoin at the moment. So also let's check out the Ethereum chart. Ethereum also looking quite good. We're still in this channel, of course, as it, the channel goes up and down, up and down, up and down. Here we have up, but still we are here in the middle. So actually, for me, Ethereum looks so far so good. And this is an interesting trend changing that Coinbase brought out the Q3 uh, earnings. <coughs> and uh, you can see that what happened in 2020, Q3, Q3, then in Q4, and now this is uh, this year, 2021. And first time here, look, 
um, the percentage for uh, from the investor side. It also shows here that Ethereum volume surpassed the Bitcoin volume for the second straight quarter, which shows that basically 19% went into Bitcoin and 22% went to Ethereum in Q3. And the same uh, happened back in Q2 uh, when Bitcoin was 24 and 26 was uh, Ethereum. So this is very interesting. As you can see from institutional side, more and more people invest in uh, Ethereum now, kind of, rather than Bitcoin. Okay, so uh, now let's talk about the first, new first news. And the first one will be about uh, Apple CEO Tim Cook reveals that he actually owns crypto. But what about Apple? So, you know, we're waiting for it. When is Apple joining the game? Uh, because that could be actually major for crypto. And there was an interview with uh, Tim Cook, who is the Apple uh, CEO. And he reveals that he owns crypto but has no plans to buy it for the company, which means Apple. And uh, when he was asked that uh, if he personally owns Bitcoin or Ether, uh, his response was, I do. I think it's reasonable to own it as part of a diversified portfolio. Also continued that I wouldn't go invest in crypto for Apple, not because uh, I wouldn't invest my own money, but because I don't think Apple buy, uh, people uh, buy Apple stock to get exposure to cryptocurrency. So this is what he's, uh, his, his uh, statement is now. So right now, uh, publicly, what they're talking about that Apple is not into uh, crypto. It would be interesting here also. Um, yeah, Cook also said Apple has no uh, immediate plans to accept payments in crypto. But we will see what the future will bring uh, right now. But this is actually a good sign that he personally thinks crypto is a not bad investment because, uh, you know, otherwise he wouldn't put his own money. He's a kind of rich guy, put it this way. And, uh, well, uh, he believes that it's worth to put into crypto. Uh, it's just, you know, company-wise, he's not thinking like this. But there are many other companies, MicroStrategy, Tesla, and others, which do in uh, invest in crypto. Of course, Apple would be a huge deal, but, uh, well, you never know, maybe in the future. Right, okay, let's talk about the next thing. The next thing is that we could have, if the SEC approves, uh, you know, approval for a Bitcoin spot ETF in a couple of days. So far, the SEC has approved a couple of uh, Bitcoin ETFs, but just future ETFs. The one we're all waiting for is the spot ETF where there's real Bitcoin behind it. And this definitely could bring up the price. And now we have here the uh, block fee uh, files for physical backed Bitcoin ETF. Cryptocurrency lending firm BlockFi has filed paperwork with the United States Security and Exchange Commission to launch a physical-backed Bitcoin exchange traded fund, kicking off what is expected to be a big week for the crypto market. Well, look, it's here, and the date for it, it's until the 14th. So here is the current list. I mean, here is the list. I can show you this list here, but actually, I don't know. You want to zoom in or not? Well, you can find it under James' um, Twitter site here, okay? Um, so is the current list of Bitcoin and crypto ETF fillings with the SEC. Next big deal is the 14th of November. So today is the 10th. We're talking about kind of four days time for the WANAC spot Bitcoin ETF. And um, well, if it will be approved, that could be uh, interesting. It will be either approval or denial from the SEC. No more delays. This is what they're saying. So basically it will be a denial with many... Uh, People say that it will be just next year when the SEC will approve a spot ETF for Bitcoin. But if it will be uh, approved, it could be massive for the market. Just guess what happened here. You know, um, last month, the US, uh, you know, the SEC approved 
uh, ProShares Bitcoin Strategy ETF, the country's first Bitcoin exchange traded fund, and how well the whole market was reacting. That was actually crazy. And we're talking about this garbage one, which is the future uh, ETF, not the spot ETF. So this could be actually uh, major. Sooner or later, it will come. Well, will it be in five days or four days? We will see. Okay. And the next suit is all about an NFT sale, uh, which is, uh, again, comes from people. He holds the record for the most expensive NFT sold for 69 million US dollar. And now he sold one for 21 million. Yes, NFTs <laughs> still, still hot. NFTs are still hot. And now we have here uh, people selling this NFT, which I'm going to show you in a second. Well, basically you can see it here. Look, I want to play it. So this is how it looks like. And, uh, you know, he's the one who sold his uh, famous uh, NFT for, which is, you know, every day, the first uh, five, actually 5,000 days. It's not 500, which is in the article. He sold it for 69 million US dollar at the uh, Christian's auction back in March this year. And now there's a new one, which went for almost 29 million uh, US dollar. And, uh, well, it's called a human one. It's a 3D moving sculpture uh, deciding a person in a spacesuit moving through a variety of climates. Now, let me show you again. So, this is the NFT all about. You can, on Twitter, you can watch it for yourself, how it looks like. And now this one was uh, sold. And, you know, the human one, as this is the name, is the first physical piece of art from Michael Winkleman, otherwise, you know, uh, called uh, AKA Beeple. And this shows that there is a still a huge interest for NFTs right now. Well, is it a bubble? Probably. Sooner or later, it will burst. But right now, NFTs are still hot. And look, this NFT was called for 29 million. There are, you know, the, the crypto punks or it's crazy, you know, back then when it came out were, were pretty cheap and now people playing, uh, paying million uh, for it and it looks like a good investment. And then there is a secondary market that people would like to buy it again and again from some, you know, and the price just goes up. So yeah, this is how it looks like at the moment. Guys, that's it for today. Don't forget, if you would like to get this daily fresh cryptocurrency and blockchain news, just simply subscribe. Hit the like button if you like this kind of content. And of course, see you tomorrow as I'm coming back with the freshest. Have a good one. Bye-bye.